In today's video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Builderall in WordPress. What's going on, guys? So, if you don't know what Builderall is, I'll give you a quick rundown. It is a website slash funnel builder. It has email automation. It has a mock-up studio included. Builderall Unlimited Magazine. It has um, in the e-learning platform built in, e-commerce built in, social proof pop-up. So pretty much anything you need for marketing your online business is all here within Builderall. But I'm going to talk to you about WordPress three-click integration. It's a Quite the, quite the addition to the platform. And you might be thinking, well, why do you need WordPress if you have Builderall? So there's no denying WordPress has the best SEO for blogging. It has the best platform for blogging. So why not host your WordPress site on Builderall and then go ahead and connect it to, to a main site? So... What I usually do with my blogs is I'll have a main website built in in Builderall and then I'll connect a subdomain to WordPress and link that to my main site. And the reason why I use a main site built with Builderall is the ease of use for designing and for the funnel building aspect. So I'm going to show you how to set up WordPress to Builderall. So if you don't have WordPress three-click integration already set up on your desktop, just go to Apps here at the top, go to Builders, click on WordPress three-click integration, and then, and then click Add. And that's going to bring it right to your desktop. And then click Enter once it's downloaded on your desktop and that's going to take you to this screen here. Go create site. Now if you don't have a domain you can use Builderall subdomain so you would put whatever you want the the site name to be and then it's going to end with dot Builderall WP com. This is absolutely free with Builderall but honestly, if you're trying to build a business and, and trying to maximize SEO, that then you're going to want to get a domain at some point. But you can, all, you can always start out with Builderall subdomain and then switch later to an actual domain. So I have a domain. I'm going to click that. I'm going to use a subdomain and type in blog. Now that could you can change that to anything. That could be store, it could be info, it could be any word that you want to use for your subdomain. And then the site name. Is randyjarris.com. So this is my site here. It is it is a site that has different links to take you to um, different services I offer or social media platforms and I'm going to link my blog to to one of these buttons here. So go ahead and check the domain. It says domain is connected. Alright, so your site name I'll just call it Randy Jarris. We're going to pick English. And then template is default. WordPress admin user. All right, you can pick anything for the admin user. And then password. Now when you sign into WordPress, you can either sign in using your WordPress admin user 
or the email. And the email that you sign up for Builderall with is the email that's used for WordPress as well. Okay, we're gonna go create website. And that's gonna take a minute or two to propagate. Okay. So it's going through the there's through the through the process. And I'm gonna open up Cheetah Builder where I designed my website. And I'm gonna click on on this button here. And then where it has a little set link, I'm gonna click on that link. I already have it in here, but basically, if you didn't have it in there, you want to put your site in the subdomain, which, if you remember, was blog.randyjaros.com. So that's in there. I can set it as a new tab or have it open within the same tab. And hit select. Go ahead and I'll save that. Once it's done doing its thing here and creating, I'll be ready to roll. So pretty simple, easy to do. I'm sure some people had questions on it. That's why I wanted to make a quick video. If you guys found this video valuable, please give it a thumbs up. Consider liking the channel uh, as I'll have more things like this. Um, and we'll talk to you soon.